In this tutorial, I will guide you step by step on displaying the featured cars section on the home page using ACPT and Bricks. The list of featured used cars will only display vehicles that have the featured car toggle switched on and the condition of the car is used. If a car does not meet these specific conditions, it will not be visible in the query loop. This ensures that only vehicles that meet all the required criteria will be visible. I have already created a custom post for vehicles. To add custom fields to our newly created custom post type, simply click on Create. Name the meta field group as Vehicle Details and make sure to save it. In addition to the basic information of the cars, such as the name and photo as the title and featured image of the post, we need to include some other information such as the price of the car, the year and mileage, and so on. Let's proceed to create these additional fields. Once you've finished setting up all the fields, click Save and verify that all the custom fields are rendering correctly. You can now see all the custom fields we created are rendering. I'll populate the first car listing by providing all the necessary details such as the price, model, year, and mileage. Now that the first car listing is complete, I will stop the recording and proceed to add a few more listings in the background. I have included six car listings with different details such as body type and, most importantly, the condition of the car. Furthermore, I have enabled a few feature car toggles to ensure that our query loop will display the correct posts on the front end when we are showing our desired queries. In order to create the featured car section, we need to navigate to the pages and make edit to the home page with bricks. I have a pre-made section that I will simply insert. This section has a minimalistic design and uses native elements. We will use these two elements to indicate whether the car is used or new, allowing us to distinguish between the two. We will rely on the condition of the bricks to accomplish this. Let's modify a few things to make it suitable for our specific needs. To query our custom post type, click on Query, set the type to Post, and Post Type Vehicle. To display this element when the car condition is set to used, we need to use the conditions. Likewise, when the car condition is set to new, we need to use the conditions and show this element. Let's preview it on the front end and see if it is working as expected. As you can see, it's working as expected. However, we must now ensure that the ribbon is only displayed for cars that have the featured car toggle on. Let's go back to the bricks and set the conditions. Since this is a toggle field with two options, on or off, 
corresponding to these two options, their values are 1 and 0. So if you want to choose the posts which you turned on the button, enter 1. Let's preview it on the front end and make sure that the posts for which we turned the toggle on are showing the ribbon. As you can see, this worked as well. But our primary objective is to exclusively display the posts that have both the feature car toggle activated and the car condition set to used. However, the current query is displaying all the posts within our custom post type regardless. Therefore, we need to go back to the bricks and fix this. Click on the query option and scroll down until you see the meta query. Then, proceed to click on the Add Meta Query button. In the Meta key, we fill in the Meta Field group name and custom field slug for our car condition. And the Meta value we set to used, since this is the value that we want to compare. Save the changes and let's preview at the front end. As you can see, all the listings that are displayed show the ribbon and the condition used, except for the last listing. To resolve this, we should revisit the meta query field and include an additional condition. For this meta query, we check whether the feature car toggle is turned on or not. If it is turned on, we will show the car listing, otherwise, we will not display it. Since this is a toggle field and the values are 1 and 0, we enter 1 in the meta value to show the posts that we have turned on the button, and set the type to numeric. As you can see, all requirements are successfully fulfilled. The query loop now only shows car listings with the featured car toggle on, and their conditions are set to used. Let's make some changes to the listings and verify if everything is functioning correctly and as anticipated. That's all there is to it. Everything is functioning perfectly. An important matter that requires attention is the visibility of the listing section, even when there are no car listings that meet the specified requirements. This situation is not ideal. To address this issue, we can implement a solution using Brick's condition that allows for the easy hiding of the section when there are no listings available. Let's go back to Bricks to fix this problem. To properly configure our condition, it is crucial to retrieve the element ID of the query element first. Go to the query element and copy the last six characters of its ID. Then select the section that needs to be hidden. Then navigate to the condition settings. Choose dynamic data and search for the query art result count followed by a colon, and paste the last six digits of the element ID we previously obtained. Set the operation to greater and input zero as the value. Save it and preview the changes. Well, the section is currently not visible, so that works as expected too. Finally, to confirm that everything is working seamlessly, 
Let's make some adjustments to our listings to meet the requirements and show them on the page. That is it for this tutorial. Using custom fields is an excellent method for establishing criteria for post visibility. If you find this tutorial helpful, give it a try and share the result with us. Additionally, if you have any ideas or suggestions, please feel free to leave a comment. Thank you for watching.